I first came across the story that was to become Mrs Robinson's disgrace while I was researching my last book, The Suspicions of Mr Witcher. Um, I read about it in a book about Victorian scandal and I was intrigued by the case. It was one of the first divorce trials in England after the new divorce court was formed and it concerned a woman's diary. The husband accused his wife of adultery and tried to seek a divorce on the basis of an adulterous affair that she had written about in her diary. And she claimed that the diary was all made up and that she was innocent. Um, I wanted to know what was true. And I started my research by going to the original newspaper accounts, which were pretty extensive. And quoted the incriminating diary entries in full. Um, they were quite gripping and, and, and interesting and, and she wrote well. I went to Boulogne, um, Berkshire, Shropshire, Edinburgh, all, all of which were places they stayed. And I also went to the estate in Surrey where Isabella Robinson was said to have had her adulterous affair with a young man called Edward Lane. Um, the I also discovered that a couple of years after the divorce trial, there was a legal digest published which had even more diary entries, which gave a much uh, richer, more complete idea of Isabella Robinson's life. And finally, crucially, I found a cache of letters in an archive in Edinburgh, unpublished letters between the main protagonists in the case, Isabella Robinson, her husband Henry and her supposed lover Edward Lane, in which they all gave their own account of what had happened in the Robinsons' marriage and between Isabella and Edward. Um, with, with this I finally felt able to piece together the, the story of what happened. Uh, the original diary, however, I was never able to find, um, and I think perhaps her husband, Henry, destroyed it. But I know that a copy was made by the court, and I still have a hope that it is out there somewhere and will turn up.